you've got to understand that just kind of like that fuel in the fire, the, your podcast is either going to put money in your pocket or it's going to take money away from your pocket. For I've got an example of a, a, another client that we were working with, still working with as I'm recording this as well, but his name's Alex Pardo. He's got the Flip Empire show. Flip Empire is another phenomenal podcast, and he had it for years and years and years, and he was already ranking in the top, I think it was top 2% or top 5% in the world. We started working with him. Now he's top 1% or 0.5%. And that isn't the point. What is the point? The free advertisement. He started his podcast because he's like, oh, this is like something that's not going to cost me anything. And I'm going to be able to get in front of lots and lots and lots of people. Now, he got a ton of organic value by having his podcast automatically. He had notoriety. He had all of these things. He had the free advertisement as well. But what was interesting is the free advertisement wasn't really free for Alex Pardo. Why wasn't it free? It's because he was paying, and I think you should pay for it. He was paying for a editing company to edit his podcast. Now, since he's moved that to us, and now he's still paying an editing company to edit his podcast and produce it and make sure that it's up and in front of everybody. So Alex is expecting it's kind of like a free advertisement and awesome. It basically is, but here's the caveat. Remember this episode is all about all these caveats. So here's the, here's the thing that was a little bit different for him. He is actually spending money on the podcast because his podcast was costing him money. So he wasn't really capitalizing on the expense, on the outflow until he, he reached out and he said, hey, Adam, I've never monetized my podcast before. I've never monetized it. I never even thought about monetizing it. And in a way, he... Uh, and I were on the same page because when I'm starting my first podcast, and even when I started this podcast, having sponsors or advertisers on my podcast was not my main goal. I was not expecting uh, to to have advertisers. I didn't necessarily want to. I didn't think that the expenses would be so much. But if your podcast costs you money, even if it's a few bucks a month, if it's literally costing you money and not putting money into your pocket, then it's more of a liability than it is an expense. 